On behalf of myself and our delegation and our mayor, we would like to welcome you all to Milford Day today. We have some amazing, amazing nonprofits in Milford, great organizations, and some of the best restaurants and stores in the state of Connecticut. Good morning, everyone from the state capitol, and welcome to Milford Day. I'm here with my good friend from Walnut Beach, who's here to talk about some of the great things we have going on this summer. Starting June 30th, every Sunday afternoon, free concerts. My mantra is, where's the place to be? Walnut Beach. <laughs> I'm here with Meg from Artfish, which is located down in Walnut Beach, and she's here to tell us a little bit about a phenomenal event I was so thrilled to attend last year, their Fairy Frolic. Thank you, thank you, Kim. Um, yes, the Fairy Frolic is the day that the little fairies let all the kids in Milford see where they're going to live, and actually the kids everywhere. It's June 21st from 6 to 8 down at Walnut Beach. It is a fun-filled night, a family-oriented night. I'm here with my good friend from the Boys and Girls Club. Thank you so much. Boys and Girls Club is really excited to be a part of the community, and we continue to grow. Um, we are now serving over 600 youth in the community. Um, we are serving over 200 kids this summer and we are completely filled. We're really excited. We have a six week summer camp. It costs $650 for the entire summer or $125 a week. We are open from 7.30 in the morning till 6 o'clock at night and we're just really thrilled to be able to offer the service to the kids in a safe, fun, positive place for them today. And this is Briar Patch Oysters. Milford is known for oysters. We have a huge probably the biggest event in the state of Connecticut, which is our Oyster Festival in August. These oysters are harvested in Milford? These are from Milford Waters. And how, how long have you been in business? Uh, we've been in Milford for 36 years. Wow. 36 years operating. Uh, we're currently on New Haven Avenue, um, and a lot of our oysters are farmed between Charles Island and the Housatonic River, where the water conditions are just right to make a tasty oyster. For those of you that don't know, my favorite breakfast spot just earned 19th place in the entire United States. And we couldn't be more happy and prouder to have Meg and the Corner Thank Brunch you. be part of Milford. Thank Meg? you so much. Thank you. Was Thank that a so surprise much. to you to get the? Yes, it's shocking. We're just doing the same thing every day, seven days a week. And then when you hear something like that, it's, it is a surprise. It's just surreal. I'm here with two of my favorite people in Milford. They keep us entertained all year long. First, I'd like to introduce Bert, who runs Patachino Productions. We are uh, Connecticut's award-winning, ridiculously entertaining theater for family audiences. We do all original uh, musical theater, um, and we also do theater camps. We have an after-school program in all of our area schools, a very popular teen theater program, uh, among the many things that we do. And here with me also is another very good friend of mine, Page from Milford Arts Council, Matt. We reside in the historic eastbound train station. We just went through heavy renovations three years ago. We're within a block, two blocks from 2030 restaurants. We do live music, theater, exhibits, and um, we are just really, really happy to be in Milford. I'm here with Todd, who is a store manager for one of our newest uh, retailers. We're home to the Connecticut Post Westfield, Connecticut Post Mall, and we couldn't be more happy than to welcome Boscoff's to Connecticut and to our little corner of the state. Boscoff's is a family-owned business. We've been in business for over 100 years. Uh, we're what you would consider old-time uh, department store. So when you think of the way the department store shopping was in the old days, that's kind of what we do. We offer great prices, great selection, and above all, we offer great service. Many of the things, many times when you're shopping now, you don't get as much um, customer service as you'd like. We try to offer that service, the old-time service, along with the um, product and prices. I'm here with a very good friend. Gary and I have known each other, oh my gosh, probably 25 years. Gary is the director of our United Way, and he has done just a phenomenal job in Milford, helping those who need the most help. He's a tireless advocate for the needy, and we have an exciting event coming up, Gary. The day after tomorrow, Saturday, June 1st, duck drop at 12.30 over the waterfall across from Stonebridge. And uh, we're looking at a couple of thousand people coming down. Uh, we're hoping to sell more than 6,000 ducks. We're well on our way, and it should be a great day for, for a lot of families and children. We have some great, great businesses in Milford, and we are so proud to call Subway 
one of our businesses, Subway Calls Milford, it's home. I'm here today with Shannon. She's brought up lots of Subway sandwiches for everyone today that I hope they come down and enjoy. Subway is located in Milford, Connecticut. We have over 40,000 stores in the country, expanded globally. We actually have 70 current openings in our headquarters, so we're hiring and we're just super excited to be here in, in the capital. I'm here with Stephanie and Stephanie is representing Impopito. Impopito is actually the largest handmade gourmet popcorn on the East Coast. Um, the owner, Hal Miller, who created the flavors, has been in business for about six years. Um, he has about a hundred flavors, range cheesy, savory, sweet, and fancy. Once again, everyone, thank you so much to all of our vendors and businesses that are here today with us, all of our residents. Please enjoy, there's some great food here and you'll learn a lot of things about Milford.